maybe logic was invented by John von Neumann in 1933. Von Neumann is the unappreciated genius of modern science. Scientists appreciate him, but the general public, I don't think, has ever heard of him. He wrote one of the best books on quantum mechanics. He was one of the pioneers of programmable computers. We wouldn't have internet without him. Anyway, maybe logic, uh, one of his major inventions, uh, instead of dividing everything into true and false like Aristotle, which only applies in the abstract. The Aristotelian logic only applies if you ignore the sensory, sensual, space-time continuum in which we live. If you, if you take into context, we live in a real universe in which we're touching things, bumping into things, kissing things, loving things, hating things, throwing rocks at things, and so on. You realize that most of our perceptions are in the maybe mode. They're not yes or no. They're not true or false. They're just maybes. I think maybe logic uh, is probably the greatest invention of the 20th century. Although, of course, von Neumann had a lot of competition. Kozhipsky offered an infinite valued logic in which between yes and no, we've got an infinite series of maybes. Anatole Rappaport invented a four-valued logic, true, false, indeterminate, and meaningless. Indeterminate is something which, in principle, we might be able to test someday, but right now we can't. We don't have the technology to test it. Like how much life is there in the universe? We just don't know. That's indeterminate. Meaningless are propositions that can never be tested because they're defined so they can't be tested, such as round squares eat red cabbage. First, you've got to find a round square to, before you can even begin to observe its eating habits. And since you can't find a round square, there's no way of ever testing that. Another one is the Catholic doctrine that after a priest pronounces the right formula over a piece of bread, it becomes the body of a Jew who died 2,000 years ago. And since cannibalism is good for you, you should eat the body of the dead Jew and it'll make you feel good. I don't know, Catholics are not particularly fond of Jews. I don't know why they like that one so much, but they, they like eating him anyway. Everybody else thinks they're just eating bread. They think they're eating a human being. They think they're Hannibal Lecter. We think they're nuts. I don't know. But that's an example of a, of a meaningless statement. It can't be proven or disproven. If they want to think they're cannibals, let them think it. We can't disprove it. We're not going to bother arguing about it. It's meaningless, like the round squares.